This is the story of two remarkable people, Leopold Blaschka and his son Rudolf. This whole entire case is filled with the things they made. They made all of this out of glass? I can understand why you'd want to buy a glass bowl or vase to have in your house, but what in the world would you do with a glass octopus? You might not want an octopus or a sea slug made out of glass, but Leopold and his son did what nobody had done before. They started a very specialized business. In the 1860s, natural history museums were opening up all over Europe and North America, and no one knew how to display soft-bodied creatures that don't have any backbones. The senior Blaschka found the solution, and he began to make and sell to museums completely lifelike models of creatures like octopuses and sea anemones and corals and sea slugs. His aim was not to make beautiful objects. His aim was to be totally scientifically accurate because these were museum display objects, and then they became teaching objects in colleges that taught natural history. Well, I think they're beautiful. Look at all those little tentacles on the sea anemone. Maybe in a weird Bill Nye the Science Guy kind of way. But what about those eyeballs? Those are not sea creatures. They were also pursuing other sidelines. They made dozens upon dozens of glass eyes. They made glass eyes for people, and they made large glass eyes for stuffed animals in natural history museums. I see different plants and flowers, too. Well, their business was so successful that the Blaschkas were asked by Harvard University to try something new. They needed some help teaching classes in botany. That's the study of plants. It was the same idea as with the animals. The models of plants had to be minutely accurate, representing the living plants as closely as possible so that professors could teach their students about them. And the result of the two careers of the father and the son is this zoo of animals and this collection of plant specimens that are really unlike anything else in the world.